Hey Bells, welcome to this week's vlog. Today is Wednesday, Weight Loss Wednesday. Um, so how am I going to explain this to you guys? So today I wanted to go to the gym, work out, um, but I changed my mind because I'm like, I've been telling you guys I need a day to just go out and do things because it's just always working out at home, working, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to finally go to the coffee shop today. I'm going to go work on this week's vlog. I did the majority of it yesterday, but I have some finalizations I have to do to it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up today or not. It's already like one o'clock. I'm going to try my best. It's just like when you upload it to YouTube, you take, YouTube takes forever to upload it, like hours and hours to get a half hour video up. Like, what is that? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go out. Um, I'm back to wearing this ponytail, y'all. I know it's not good for me, but I'm back to wearing this ponytail. I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm, I ordered some crochet here. I'm going to try and do that, but I don't know. So I have this two-piece set on. Um, I've had it for a long time. I never wear it because um, back previously, I didn't like how my stomach fit in it, like my fupa. It was really weird looking in there. So now I can actually fit it, and it's too big. <laughs> like So this is a two-piece set, you guys. I got the pants. Look, I have them pulled. Like, this is... Not to be nasty, but my private areas down here. The pants are all the way up here in the road. And I have them tucked under my shirt so that it looks like it's a one-piece outfit because they're so long. I don't know why they always make their pants so long and the crotch area so long. Like, what is that? Whose crotch is that long? Whose torso is that long? It's supposed to be a two-piece set. You can't even see a divide between the two. I was going to do a gold belt on the outside, but I got stuff in front of my closet and I don't feel like pulling it out just to get a belt. But yeah, I'm just going to go to a coffee shop. I may go out to get something to eat, like take myself out on a date. Um, but I'm going to go to the coffee shop first and work on my video and try to get some reading done. Um, and then I'll see how I feel after that. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. In my, in my Fendi. I chose to wear this bag and then after I chose it, I realized that it also has like that snake print on it. So it's like really coordinating. Like we're really like matchy matchy. But it's a vibe and I'm loving this look. So yeah, um, let's get going. So guys, I went I went into Starbucks and ordered um, a grande nitro cold brew with sweet cream. That's all, that's what I always get. And then they give me this. I'm like, what is that? I said, she asked me that I wanted a straw. I'm like, what, what is this? And she's like, you Melissa? I'm like, yeah, I'm Melissa. And she said, it's a um, Trente Vanilla Cold Brew. It's a cold brew with vanilla sweet cream, I guess. I'm gonna try it. I told her, don't, I said, don't worry about it. I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. Um, but it's huge. Like, look at all that coffee. I'm gonna try and see. But I gotta get working on this vlog, so I'll check back with you guys later. I gotta finish the Starbucks. I put a drink out, because I was not feeling it. Um, I was about to go to the restaurant. Don't know where I'm going. It's just a place down the street where like a lot of restaurants are on there. To where I realized I don't have my wallet, you guys. So now I gotta go all the way home and get my wallet. And then prayfully, um, when I get there, I still have energy to go out. I'm so peed. You know, at Starbucks, you use your app to pay for your coffee. So I didn't even realize I didn't have my wallet. But I go all the way back home and get my wallet. I'm peed off. I'm so peed. And see, this is where my problem is at. So I've eaten the turkey bacon and the eggs. And I had to like force myself to get through all that. And I'm full. And I still got to eat this, which is gonna take up so much room in my stomach. 
I gotta come up with a better plan because this is just not gonna work. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but this is just not gonna work. To the gym today, very comfortable, very stretchy. This is tight, stretchy, um, almost scuba esque. Definitely sucking you in. So I had some leftover sushi from yesterday because of course I wasn't able to eat it all. So today I wanted to make some cauliflower rice to go along with it. I wanted to put some chicken in there but I knew I wasn't going to be able to eat all that so I'm just doing what I can to make it taste good. <laughs> so it's dinner time I was looking at my sheet for today I feel like I'm still far beneath my protein for today I made myself drink a protein shake about 40 minutes ago but I'm still hungry I don't, I don't know. but I just made myself drink a protein shake I'm making dinner I have some chicken thighs I'm gonna cut that up make it into a quesadilla and then make like salsa and was it cilantro avocado put all that stuff on there it's sort of hard to know per se exactly how much protein you're getting because everything is random ingredients but i'm gonna try and figure it out so i'm using these these have i think nine or just six six grams of protein per tortilla i'm only using one um i have the salsa this is from aldi's which is so good chicken thighs Guys, I'm switching. Oh my god, I can't even believe what I'm saying this. I keep telling y'all small steps. So I was telling you, I think either my last video or the video before that cheese and meat are best friends. So it's hard for me to give cheese up. I'm gonna try this reduced fat cheese. I've never been a fan of reduced fat cheese, but we're gonna try it. You know, I gotta be open-minded about it. I'm gonna try and see. Bell peppers and onions, and then I have some cilantro that I gotta wash. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get done. So guys, I was sitting here like, I wish I had some sour cream. I forgot I bought this plain Greek yogurt today and people use this all the time in place of sour cream and it has a whole lot more protein in it. 
Um, this one has 16 grams of protein per cup. I'm not gonna eat all this, I can't, not with my food, but I'm gonna take out at least like two tablespoons worth. So it's still something, you know what I'm saying? Something. Okay, so guys, this is the meal. So um, I did have avocado, but I put that back because I added the sour cream. I can't eat both at the same time. I just took one of the shells and folded it in half and put the chicken and the cheese in there and then sauteed the vegetables and put them on the side. So yeah, this, this is what it looks like. Ooh, I am so oily, I need to wash my face. Anyway, I'm about to wash my face right now. But checking in, so it's after dinner. Look, let's just, it's the, it's the end of the day. It's the end of the day. Protein tracking or protein consuming, whatever you want to call it, is it's a lot. Like I'm gonna have to like really think of ways to get this protein in. I know today, like for instance, my lunch was not protein rich because I had to finish that sushi. You can't keep sushi long as I'm telling you. Um, so it wasn't as much protein in my lunch as I could have gotten. Um, but I gotta figure something out because this is a lot of protein. I'm just stuffed. So um, eating dinner, so like I ate the first triangle of my quesadilla with some of that Greek yogurt and I was already stuffed, you guys, like full. I had to sit there and force myself to eat that whole thing with the yogurt. And I'm like, I need to get the vegetables. And it's like, I need to eat the vegetables. Girl, I was angry eating. Like, I just don't want to eat this no more. I'm full. I don't want this. I had to like make myself eat the freaking quesadilla. I've been doing it all day, just making myself eat, even though I'm full and I don't want it. And this is just not gonna work for me. So I don't know what I wanna do. I think tomorrow I'm gonna focus more on protein shakes. But then like, in my mind and where I come from, a protein shake is like a meal replacement. So it's like, how can I eat the protein? How, how can I drink the protein shake and still eat the three meals? Like, I don't know, is that normal? I don't know. I don't wanna gain weight trying to bulk up my muscles. You know what I'm saying? Like. God, we're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my face and go get butt naked and lay down in front of the AC. Y'all probably don't wanna hear that, but that's what I'm about to do. Okay. giving 80s a realness here. I'm loving these colors, yes.
Okay, so guys, my wrap is too small to like close up around this burger. <laughs> Maybe I should put it to the side, I don't know, but I'm still gonna eat. I'm cut up with a knife and a fork. I have my salsa and then avocado here. Oh, and then we have our first casualty of war. I broke my nail at the gym today. Mm-hmm. Anyways, this is what it looks like. I just have the cheese, um, Greek yogurt, and then some chips. I put some chips on there for crunch, like a crunch wrap, but it's just, I can't close it. So yeah, it is what it is. So guys, I wanted to check in. I just realized I don't think I've checked in since I've been home. Maybe, maybe at lunchtime. But right now I'm doing laundry. I haven't really did much since I've been home. Um, I'm stopping laundry to eat dinner. I have shrimp and a sausage pasta and a salad. So this is my dinner. I don't think it's a lot of protein in here. I want to get some um, protein pasta because that's what I really want. But yeah, this is my dinner. Nothing major. Just boil some pasta, um, saute the shrimp and the sausage, and that's it. So... Yeah, this is my dinner. I don't know if I'm checking in anymore today because, like, I got to get things done. Like, laundry and cleaning my room. So, I don't know if I'm going to check in anymore today, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, so I lied. I'm checking back in with you guys again. So, um, I got to eat dessert, I want to call it, but it's more about getting the protein in. So, yesterday at Target, I found um, these yogurts. They're 25 grams of protein per serving, which is crazy crazy um hopefully it's good i haven't tried it yet i don't uh, we're gonna see and then i put some granola in there some bare naked granola it's about six six grams of protein per serving which is like a half a cup i try to put as much of there as i can so hopefully it's half a cup I don't, I don't know if i hit my protein goal for today i'm gonna eat my yogurt try to get it all down and that should be it for today Um, Saturday and I'm on my way to the gym uh, last night was horrific I woke up having the worst allergy attack I've had in a long time I didn't think I was going to be able to make it today I haven't left the house yet so I don't know how I'm going to react to the, uh, the outside weather like last night when I woke up and I brought that I was sneezing and stuff being everything I shut my window because that's normally how it happens. Normally I sleep with my window closed. I didn't happen to open my window last night. But I woke up and I was just stuffy, eyes swollen, sneezing, snotty nose. I was like, no, 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 no. And normally when I get like that, um, I can't catch up even when I take my medication. So like I'm just stuck like that for a day or two. So I was just freaking out. I'm just pumping my nasal spray, pumping my nasal spray, popping my allergy medication, blowing my nose, blowing my nose. I said, Lord, please. So, um, like I said, I shut my window, but I haven't been outside today, so I don't know if it's going to get worse when I go outside. I'm still sneezing and stuff here and there, but I don't know. So I was planning on going to the gym today and then coming home, showering, getting ready, and going back out again, but I don't know yet until I go outside and see how the weather affects me. Um, but yeah, this is um, my outfit for today. I had a different shirt on. I took it off because I just want to be cool today. I've been so hot the last few days because I'm wearing this big hair and long sleeves. So I wanted to be um, comfortable today. I'm going to try to work on my abs. <sighs> I think I've done two machines for my... Well, actually, not two machines. This is the same machine. I've done it twice for my abs since my surgery. Whenever I work my stomach, you guys, this, this incision, the line is just... And last night, I was trying to sleep on my stomach. I've been doing that since my, well, not since my surgery. I've been doing that recently uh, with no problems. But last night, for some reason, that my incision line was going off. I had to keep rotating and rotating. I got barely any sleep last night. I have such bad insomnia. And I know I told you guys that's over and over again. But it is 
mind boggling and i keep saying i'm tired i'm tired yeah you're tired you're not getting any sleep and right now yes i am tired i haven't had any coffee um i haven't had any pre-workout i've had pre-workout twice this week normally i don't take it because i've been in the gym already energetic and happy but um i've been so lethargic even after getting my b12 shot so i don't know what's going on it might be because i'm working out too i mean my body's getting accustomed to it and of course i'm not getting any sleep and my sleep pattern is changing i'm trying to get up earlier it's a lot but yeah so I'm wearing this um, comfy fit. I got some new shoes on from um, the brand Fitville. They sent me some tennis shoes. I received two pairs today. I have two more coming. So I'm trying to wait till I get all of them before I do like a shoe haul. But um, I'm excited to try them out to see how comfortable they are. They have a really thick sole. Hopefully I'm getting on camera. The sole is very thick. I, I like that. But we're going to see at the gym today. Um, but I think that's it. So yeah, I'm going to try to work on my abs today. And then, let me see, yesterday I did my my back and my arms. So, yeah, I'm going to do ab and booty today. So, ab and boob. I said boob. <laughs> ab and booty. I haven't shown you guys my booty. I haven't did an update. This is what it looks like, looks like so far. It's still not popping. Like, I want it to pop. But this is what it's looking like so far. I feel like I like it when I'm looking at it, like, when my shirt's down. But when I look at my stomach, because, like, the way he cut me, I have, like, sort of a pooch now. Like, anybody who gets this surgery and has a big top, but you don't get, like, the whole tummy tuck, you're going to have, like, a little bit of a pooch, which is still better than the whole fupa thing. But I think if this was, like, flat, like, snatched flat, then my butt would pop out more. But we're going to see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work on my abs. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to... Um, get my stomach to be flatter over not today, you know over time is what I'm trying to say um, I still feel like I'm battling with swelling because like yesterday I woke up I was really flat and by the end of the day like my stomach was so tight and so like bulbous like bloated like How do you describe it? But it felt like it was swollen pretty much it had gotten bigger and like tight really tight So um, I know he said that you can experience swelling up to 18 months after surgery, I'm like, that's crazy. Like, you want your results and you want them now, but that's just not how it happens. Um, but yeah, I'm still battling with swelling. I, if I prefer to wear my binder a lot, but I'm trying not to. Today, I'm not going to wear it because I'm wearing a loose shirt anyway. So, and I'm working on my abs, so I'm not going to wear it today. Hopefully, I don't swell up too bad from the activity. Um, we're going to see, but I just noticed the more activity I do, the more I swell. So, yeah, we're going to see. Anyways, I'm going to go to the gym. I don't know if I'm going to record. Because it's so hard. Yesterday I was trying to record. I did so many exercises. And I couldn't even get them all on camera. Because people are around you. And you don't want to get them on camera. And you don't want them to feel uncomfortable in the gym. Like I want everybody to be able to feel free to do what they want to do in the gym. Um, so yesterday I had to keep pausing and waiting for people to leave. And try to record. It's so freaking difficult. Like The only thing I can think of doing is going late at night. Or super duper early in the morning. And I was just like, mm. I don't put myself in danger. I try to film what I can while I'm in the gym. I just, of course, I cannot possibly film my entire workout. I pretty much just go in there and work whatever machine I feel is going to work that body part. Um, I work like a lot of different machines, you guys. Like, I don't go in there playing. I go in there to work out. I've been going to the gym all cute, but when I get there, honey, I, I work every machine that I can. And I work myself to exhaustion. I be sweaty. Like, when I get now, I be sweating, girl. But, um... Yeah, I feel like I'm rambling. I need to get going. So I'm going to go make my water, get in my bag, and we're going to go. All right, let's get going, guys. So I've been in this locker room for like 20 minutes trying to muster the strength and the energy to go work out. I don't know what's going on. I'm so tired. And then I walked here in the sun. <sighs> I'm going to go try. I'm not going to go home. I'm going to go try. But if I don't start feeling better, I'm going to go home.
um, when I first got to the gym, I was so exhausted. I think from the heat, I don't know. I, I told you before I left, I was already tired. But when I got there, I was sitting down, cooling down in a locker room, and I just could not find the strength to get up and go work out. I don't know what it was. I was just like, I can't do this today. Um, I was going to leave. I was going to leave. I said, put your headphones on, put some good music on, sit here and try to get pumped up and go out there and work out. I said, you ain't got to do crazy workouts here like you always do. Just focus on the machines for your stomach um, and then do some stuff for your butt. Get on the elliptical or whatever and let's go. Well, not the elliptical. I haven't gotten on that yet. I haven't gotten on that yet. Um, the stir climber. So um, I did my stomach. Um, I did my butt. Completely exhausted. And then I did like eight minutes on the stair climber and then I just left. I didn't do, like normally I do the stair climber, the treadmill, and the bike. Like I do about 10 to 15 minutes on each. Yesterday I did way more than that. I can't remember. It was like 30 minutes or something like that, which was crazy and amazing. Um, but yeah, so I was working out today. I was, I was in there working on my booty. And I kept feeling somebody was staring at me. I was like, whatever. I don't think so. Um, but it's so funny because I do see guys stare at me all the time, but they never approach me. Like they're really scared of me. I think I intimidate people. I don't know. But I'm like such a, a nice person. It's like so weird. But, um, I kept thinking somebody was staring at me. I was like, I don't know. So I go to the locker room to get my water bottle. I look for it in my locker. I came back out down on a stir climber and I felt somebody tapping me. I'm like, what the heck? And I looked down and this guy was like, hey, I see you over there. Yada, yada. Like, I, I can't remember word for it, what he said, but he pretty much was like, can I get your Instagram or whatever? I'm like, oh, okay. So I actually approached me. Like, I don't like when men are scared. Like, how are you going to get what you want if you don't approach the girl? I know rejection sucks, but it's like, if you don't approach the girl, how are you going to get what you want? But yeah, he exchanged my Instagram. I got to go see if he followed me. I don't really know. I don't know. I just thought that was sort of cute that he came up to me, like, because... You gotta have a little bit of boldness in you, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I'm feeling good. I didn't get sick. I was sneezing a little bit from the stuff in the air, but I didn't get sick. So I have like less than an hour to get out of here. Don't know what I'm wearing. I was gonna do my makeup and my hair. I don't have time because my movie starts at like four. Um, so oh yeah, I'm going to the movies. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys. This is a movie I want to see everything everywhere all the time or something like that. I've been wanting to see it for a long time. I heard it's like different than any other movie out there. I thought it was gone, but this theater happens to have it. So I'm gonna hurry up and go get dressed. When I get dressed, I'm hurry up and take a shower, throw something on. Hopefully I can find something at least comfortable. Maybe some joggers, it's hot though. It's hot. And I don't have time to shave my legs. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna find something to wear. I'm gonna shower and we're gonna go. So I don't know if we're gonna be looking cute today, but. We're getting out the house, and that's what it's about. I cannot keep staying in the house. Can I keep working all the time? I got to get out this house. Okay, so let's get going. So, guys, I made a mess, and I'm in a hurry, but this is what we're going for. So, I need to go. So, y'all, I'm so pissed off. Like, so I'm running late. Not my fault. My bus fault. I'll get into that later. The movie started at 3.50. It's 3.58, and I still have a little bit more walking to do before I get there. So, I don't know. A part of me just wants to turn around and go back home. I don't want to miss any part of it, but uh, I'm, gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go and see what they say. Hopefully, it hasn't started yet because you know they got a preview, so we're gonna see. I'll check in when I get there. I heard it was good. I want to see it. It might have oh. just started. It might be like a I know I'm running in. late. Okay. <laughs> are you a student or a member? Uh, no, I'm not. All oh, right, it'd be ten dollars. Oh, can I get that small popcorn and a pop too? Oh yeah, for sure. Butter in your popcorn? Just a little bit, yeah. A little bit. All right, small popcorn, and then uh, I probably only have cans of that token giant here. Um, can I do a, a kid's meal quesadilla? It looks so pretty. 
Thank you. Really? I feel like I feel like a son. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop it, you're making me blush. Thank you. <laughs> Is this the video? Mm -hmm. It comes with a drink. It comes with a drink. There's only one. That's fine. Or it comes with a kid's cup. Let's do the cup then. Please. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. Is this yours? Yeah. Just check in with the box. It comes with kid chips or food? I'm guessing it's kid chips. Thank you. Yeah. It's going to be it's right here. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm finally home. I'm about to eat my food. I'm so excited. Um, today was really adventurous, really weird. Um, long ago, guys, my nails are so messed up. I want to take these off so bad. I gotta figure out how to suck them off. Cause I just popped off the last set. Yeah. Anyways, but I had a really good time. The movie was really good. Very different from anything I've ever seen before. Um, not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, cause like it's it was weird, but it was good. I had a good time, um, got back home safely, oh, went to Chipotle, I'll show you guys my food in a second. I saw a hack on TikTok about getting kids meals, and normally I order kids meals when I go out because I can't eat. Um, so I ordered it, got everything for like $4.20, it was really cheap, it's a lot of food though. I don't think I can eat, <laughs> I don't even think I can eat this, and it's a kids meal, that's so sad. But I'm about to eat my food, just got to take another shower, it's the third shower for today, which is ridiculous, so much wasted water, but like it's so hot. Oh, I can't put it into words. But yeah, so oh, I look so pale. This lighting is really horrible. I can't find my camera. Oh, I don't know where it's at. Ever since I moved, I have not been able to find my camera. So I'm recording everything on my cell phone, which is, it has good qualities and bad qualities to it. But I need a camera. So I'm not going to find a thousand dollars to buy another camera. So I, I don't know where it's at. Like when I went to pack to move, I put it up. I saw it, I got, got the little um, charger, the SD card, everything, picked it up, have not been able to find it since we moved. So yeah, so if the quality is not so great, I'm sorry you guys, but I'm filming on my cell phone. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. That's a whole nother situation. I don't even wanna think about that right now. But anyways, I'm gonna get dressed, show you guys my food so I can eat. So I wanna show you guys my food. I forgot I haven't moisturized my face yet since I got out of the shower. Give me a second. Let me put some this on first. Oh God, I forgot to tell you. Um, dude from the gym hit me up. I haven't had a chance to respond to him yet because I've been so busy today and I feel so bad because that's not a good first impression. Um, but I have to hit him back up and see what he's on. Then I'm like, do I want to hit him back up? Do I want to get involved with somebody I see at the gym? Like, that's going to be weird. And then I'm like, man, I'm just thinking too much about it. He might not, even, might not even be on anything like that. I don't know, but I need to hit him back up. Anyways, I need to show you guys my food with my meal. I got a drink. I got the. They, I was gonna get the apple juice, but they didn't have any more. All they had left was milk, and I was like, I don't want that. So they gave me a drink. I got the. I think it's the mango aqua aqua fresh aqua fresca aqua fresha, whatever. It's really good. It has like cayenne in there or something. Like it's really good. I didn't think I would like cayenne in there, but it's really good. Anyways, um, it comes with chips. You can get fruit or chips. I wanted chips, of course. And then. Okay. This is probably like the wrong way to be showing you guys this. Hopefully it don't spill all over me. But that looks good. Okay, so they say to put your meat on the side because you get more meat when you do it that way. So I got the corn and the tomato salsa. I had, I had to put both of them in there. I got pinto beans and I got chicken. Normally when I go to Chipotle, I get barbacoa every single time every single time but it is more of a fatty meat so i was like let me get chicken today since i'm eating um takeout food <laughs> and then your quesadilla comes like this i see why they say put chicken on the side because your quesadilla is small but i have chips too so like that's a lot for me um i can pull this out of here 
but this is the quesadilla. So you get quesadilla, chips, a drink, and then all of this. This is a lot of food. I probably won't even be able to eat all this, honestly. But um, $4.20 or four twenty three something like that. It was real cheap. Um, but yeah, that's good. So anyways, I'm going to eat and watch some TV. The new season of Upshaw is out, and I really need to get caught up. I'm I'm the kind of person, I got to remember what happened in the previous season. So I'm going to go back and watch the first season first. And then um, watch the new season. Even though I've already seen the first season. But I have a really bad memory. So, like, if I go back and rewatch it right now, it's like it's new to me. And it's, it's so, that's how bad my memory is. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go watch that and chill here and eat dinner. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I'll, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. You guys know I'm trying to get as much protein as possible. So I'm gonna have some thin sliced boneless chicken breasts. I'm going to clean those off, coat them with olive oil and these seasonings. I'm gonna put them in a pan and sear them. And then I have some protein pasta. So I wanna be having some of that and I'm just drizzling it or stirring it up with this. I don't know how you wanna say it, but I'm putting this on there as well. So that is it. Simple, fast, quick. I think I'm gonna put some spinach in there as well. And you like top it with some parmesan, but that's that's pretty much it. Oh, do I have some tomatoes? I don't know if I have tomatoes. We're, we're gonna see. But yeah, this is what I'm making. So these are my protein waffles. You get two per serving. Um, I put some of this 
Nutella spread. This is a keto friendly, low calorie. I mean, is it low calorie? I mean, I say that it's low carb, plant based. 170 calories for two tablespoons. It has four grams of protein. So yeah, I have this. I have a lot of stuff from this brand. I love their products. I'm gonna put some nuts on top. So guys, this is the next outfit. I have on this crop top shirt with like this fish netting on there. And then I have on these fruity pebble <laughs> leggings. They're really cute. It's like a leopard print, but they're multicolored. Really cute. And guys, forget the mess in the background. I just did laundry. So I got to put all these workout clothes away. And I don't, I don't have a spot for them. Like, um, I've been ordering all these new workout clothes. And I've already got all the clothes in my room in their own specific spot. So now I got to find somewhere to put these workout clothes. But yeah, this is today's look. I'm wearing my Fitville shoes. And we're going to go to the gym. So I'm at the gym. I'm giving myself one hour because I have to go home and film. So one hour to work my arms, cardio, and I gotta go. Hopefully you can hear me. 